For the supraclavicular approach to brachial plexus anesthesia, the key internal landmark is the subclavian artery, which can be seen here as a black round pulsating structure at the left side of the image. The white line underneath the artery is the first rib. Lateral to the artery, within a triangular area demarcated by some echo bright lines, the divisions of the brachial plexus appear as round hypoechoic circles. Note that the plexus lies at 1 to 2 cm depth only. Puncture site analgesia is administered. Note how the operator's hands are resting to maintain a stable ultrasound image and precise needle tip control. In this image, the needle appears from the right side. Note how the needle tip struggles to penetrate the sheaths containing the divisions of the brachial plexus. Small adjustments of probe angle and needle position optimize the needle visibility. A small test injection of 1 mil of local anesthetic allows confirmation of correct needle tip position. Injecting further 4 to 5 mil aliquots distends the sheath and provides further spread around the nerves of the plexus. Failure to achieve local anesthetic spread around the C8 and T1 roots, which lie inferolateral to the artery, can lead to incomplete anesthesia.